See now that the solar panel is entirely encapsulated with Q-Silt, it's a little bit shinier, it's a little bit prettier, and it's going to last a lot longer. So the final stage is to put the lid on. Before we do that, we're just going to put one of these in. This is just like a little silicon sachet, the kind of thing that you get in a shoe box or something um, to keep moisture levels down. So you can either just collect these as and when you come across them or you can buy them offline. I think eBay will sell them for next to nothing. This needs to be stuck in somewhere where it's not going to obviously block any of the panels, any of the cells in the panel getting light. So I'm just going to stick it over here and I've put a bit of non corrosive silicon just behind it just to stick it on. So that will just sit there and help preserve the panel a little bit longer. The last thing to do is to get the lid, which is a bit of glass that we took off at the beginning. We've given it a nice clean with some glass cleaner because obviously you want it to be as clear as possible. And to seal that on, I'm going to go around with the silicon gun and put a nice healthy dollop of non-corrosive silicon all the way, all the way along each side. And you want this to go over the wires that are going to act as the terminals on this end because they need to go in between the top pane and the sides. If you get any silicon on the side it's not the end of the world, just get it off and you do want quite a nice dose so that you get a, a quite an even spread if possible so that you get a good seal because getting this as airtight as possible is one of the most important things for preserving the panel in the long term. All that remains to be done is to take our window and put it on. Just make sure that the terminals at the end are definitely Coming out, line it up, and then press along the sides really firmly so there's silicon under every bit. And because it's transparent, it's obviously quite easy to see if there's any bit that is lacking silicon, will be letting air in. Now, once you've done that, it's best to put something heavy on top of the panel, so we could use this big reel of tabbing wire. It's probably about two and a half kilos. Let's put it in there. And we could leave that for about 24 hours and the silicon will set 